do so poorly this time around because we don't have Randy here in person to help walk us through the game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's very uh, peaceful music. I could fall asleep. It's a resident. I feel like evil. So evil. Resident. So I'm going to do that for the next two hours. Resident. <coughs> Mr. Resident. So evil. Well, if you can't figure it out, yeah, yeah, I don't it's worry more about important it. that we play, just play the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we'll work on that for next time, having chat on screen. Next time! Here we go! Only if you want to, man. Don't feel obligated. I think we'll survive if you uh, stick around and chat, at least. Uh, uh, he says to please sing to narrate everything, so keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Now we're standing with a shotgun. All right, so we got shotgun. some, some health in the box. <laughs> we have the, the actual box? real armor key. Uh, let me double check to make sure they didn't put away. I saw a uh, version of Seven the other day in the slip cover. Just had a cardboard box, and it was like creaked open, and then it said like, what's in the box, and I was like, that's super dope. Yeah, that's pretty tight. That's pretty cool. I saw a dead possum in the road on the way to work today. It's very same. Yeah, yeah. same yeah. same level of discovery. Like I the... really appreciate what same everyone's page bringing there. to the table. Liven up the mood. I mean, how how often do you see a dead possum here oh, uh, in these parts? Daily. <laughs> Mostly because I Google pictures of dead possums. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys ever seen a dead body? There's one right there. Oh shit. Uh oh. That's a crimson. We're fucked. That guy was. <laughs> what happens if we die? Um, we die. That's a that's a deep question, Tone. <laughs> <laughs> what does happen when we die? I don't know. Shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that by the end of eight Resident Evil games, we've answered that question. Is that true though? Do you actually shit yourself when you die? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know that all of the juices that they take out of you, like in the mortuary. Uh, they just go. They just put them down the drain. Mm -hmm. They just like punch you with these like mm -hmm. things, and then they just suck all your juices out, mm -hmm. and they just go down the drain, and they go with everything else. It's beautiful. Jokes on them, cause I don't drink a lot of juice. <laughs> I actually did see a video the other day about a guy who survived in the Sahara Desert for like nine days on his own. Mm -hmm. And because he was so hydrated when he tried to slit his own wrists to kill himself, his blood immediately clotted, and he didn't die. Hmm. Interesting. Because he was so dehydrated. He and was so dehydrated? Yeah, and he had been drinking, because he had basically just only been drinking his own piss. Oh, yeah. Like, Bear Grylls style. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> hey, oh, what's, what's up, up? Steven? Veyu. 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 Thank you. Yeah, he already messaged us earlier and was like, yeah, I wasn't expecting my uh, my name to show up again. In the <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's a permanent fixture. Yeah. Like Tilda Swinton. <laughs> Don't give him Tilda Swinton status. <laughs> <laughs> I like the guy, but goodbye. He's already got more Todd Browning points than one man knows what to do with. Mostly because there's nothing to do with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't quite figured out the exchange rate on that yet. So, Steven, we are currently still trying to save that dude who is most likely already way dead. You were supposed to go get something. Yeah, I don't, and I, am, I don't remember where it is or what it is. It's on the map. You're on the map. We fucking got you, dude. I'm wrecked, I'm right? on the fucking map, bro. That's right. Thanks, John, for the compliment, you piece of shit. Uh, Steven says, oh, he's mad dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's been a week. <laughs> <laughs> he's been sitting there for a week. Oh, clowns need to eat. Remember that family guy? Oh no, horses. Ponies. He's like, oh, ponies need to eat. Those are very different things, bud. 
Well, it's because there are two separate bits. One where he, where Peter pulls a cord and all the balloons and shit come down, and then the clown that he hired, his skeleton falls down. And then uh, there's another one where he talks about getting Mega Pony for her birthday when she was a kid. And now he's finally giving it to her, and he like wheels it out. And it's oh, a I, th- I thought you said getting Mega Pony. <laughs> I was like, you mean a horse? Unless you already. The thing you need is back in that save room, unless you already nabbed, in which case, ignore me. Well, I'll try to ignore to you. To save the guy? Steven. We're trying to save the guy. We need the stuff to save the guy? Well, we should grab it just in case. What is it? Oh. Run! <laughs> Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Ah, about to find out. Go. That was just a love tap. Still in caution, but at least we're not side hugging. Jazzy? Is it? No. Which save room are we talking about? Uh, medicine room. It says, remember, it's in the medicine room. Yes, we definitely remember, but for those of um, who are watching it, <laughs> explain it for them. Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> that fucker yeah. came out of nowhere. That's probably a dead. Oh, oh we shit. go! <laughs> Smooth Excellent. criminal. <laughs> Is that, that guy, that is, guy that the, is that the dude right there who I'm supposed to save? No, he was like a military man. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to burn he's that big heel. He's wearing a sweater heel. vest. That's, I don't think he's a military man. What is that? It's a big heel. It says, uh, no, turn back around down the stairs. Back down the stairs? Is it this way? Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. That's... I think I just went. I'm gonna equip this. We need some shotgun bullets. Ace of shells, John. I need some shells. I watched a video recently. I think it was uh, on YouTube.com, um, and it was about a guy. It was one of those like my strange addictions, but he literally only eats mac and cheese. <laughs> and the shells thing reminded me because he pretty much his favorite is Lolita shells and cheese. That and sounds like it would be like a like Constipation City. That's what I was thinking, but didn't address that oh, part of it. Fuck. Oh shit! That jukes. one's hell of aggressive. Got jukes. These are like twenty eight days later. Oh shit! Combos, dude. Is that the right spot? I don't care. It's a room that doesn't have that dude in it. It's a good thing the zombies can't open doors. He says, hello, nope, the other stairs. I think the room is blinking or something on your map. Oh. Is that the shining bar? You've always been in Spencer Mansion. So that one there. Oh, I know. So the one that's blinking, I'm in. So are you in the medicine room? No, I'm in the piano room. With the candlestick. Steven, if you, the left hand typewriter room. Okay, so. So the one that's over there. So if I go out the hallway. Is that a different floor? No, it's the same floor. Did you get a new floor? Okay, so. Out. Dodge the dumbass motherfucker over there. Back towards the stairs. I don't understand this. How, like, the layout Why is your room? compass scared? It, it do be shake. Okay. That Spencer dude, he was a a real asshole, making his house a labyrinth. Oh All right. gosh, yeah. All right. This is gonna be bad. Oh, that's a big fella. Oh 
shit. Are you just stabbing him all the way through with your gun? Yeah, he just caught that bullet. Yep, yeah, we did. We died? It's actually not a terrible thing, because we'll get all those bullets back, and we'll just go back to our save point. First oh. death of the game. Oh. You just, did you just shit a ton a bunch of blood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Kev! What's up, Bacon? So Kevin Bacon! Kevin Bacon! Shit blood? <laughs> You missed me, huh? I guess so. Oh. I'm gonna give him the ear. Got a porcelain pet on the stream. We got a porcelain pet on the stream. Kevin Bacon. They fly now. Kevin Anthony Bacon. Come down. Come on. <laughs> so it says that I'm in the medical storeroom now. This is what I need. Yeah. yeah. I'm such a dumbass because like I'm so used to thinking of you as Tone now that when you said that I was like. Whoa. That's really sweet that they would give him my name. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> okay, so now where is the dude? Is disguised as another dude? Oh, I need to. No, he's himself. He's just dead now. The dude abides. And that Ooh. rug really ties the room together. Kevin. Yeah, John. Now my view is a little bit blind. <laughs> <laughs> Stepped on one of my nuts. How is it missing music if you have it right there? <laughs> All right. Wait, is that the missing music? That's what I'm saying. Or no, that's the so folder missing music. I just found it's it. It's the it's folder your, that is inventory. missing music. Are they alien ants? Do they have a farm? <laughs> or is it a farm for alien ants? He says Spencer was crazy, apparent, and apparently the only architect in this universe. Sure. Probably not. I already had dinner, so probably I, not. I will have some. Um, what is... Hey, uh, chat, are you guys going to have pizza tonight? It's Pizza Friday! Some of them might be in other time zones. It might not be Pizza Friday for them. It's hot, buddy. I'm so sorry. I love you, though. Fuck em up, fuck em like up, a, fuck em up. A DJ. <sighs> Gonna play that song Lean On for the 30th time. Oh, we dodged him. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Oh, I didn't oh. dodge him that time. Yeah, see, John, you gotta zig before you can zag. Oh! Yay, John's not Dude, good. hell yeah. What? Mr. Veyu says he's chowing down on some za right now. Nice. What kind, sir? What kind of pizza? Also, Randy says if he comes over, he might have pizza. <laughs> do you like spicy pizza? <laughs> hey, chat. Do you like spicy pizza? Hey, chat. Hey, Chad. <laughs> Chad. Yes. All you Chads. We're gonna call. We're gonna call our chat the Chad. The Chads. The porcelain <laughs> pizza Chads. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a fancy door. There's a door to the outside. To the terrace. Bum, bum, bum. Somebody was growing some dank on this balcony. Pepperoni and jalapenos. That's what uh, Steven says he's having. Pepperoni and jalapenos. Oh, uh, that sounds... Like Ring Sting Central, but good. Yes. Good at the time. Ring Sting Sting Sting, Ring Sting Sting Sting, Ring Sting Sting, Ring Ding 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 Ding. And now I'm back to where I was a moment. Why is your dingling getting involved in this Ring Sting thing? Because that shit hangs down, bro. John's long and loose. <laughs> <laughs> he can fuck himself. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think I may have dumb luck found the room that the dude is in, who is most certainly already dead. Hey, when, you, when you watch this on YouTube, go ahead and in the comments, tell us what your favorite kind of pizza is. 
Or not. Hey, Steven. And don't forget to hit the bell for... And hit the bell to subscribe for notifications for the... the... Is he dead? uh, Oh, yeah, he big dead. So we did all that for nothing? So we just wasted the last (laughs) half hour? Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my stream. (laughs) Hey, Sam. No, John, you are a pro gamer, and your pro game senses guided you. It wasn't oh. luck. Oh, is this a regular zone? Yeah, fuck that. I Didn't the other one have, like... He had some claws. Yeah, I'm glad you guys got what I was trying to convey there. Oh, hey. Oh. Don't shoot him in Oh, the he head. just puked on me. That's what, is, tight. Is that acid? No, he just had a rough night. Is he no more? He's not drunk, or he's not a zombie. He's just a drunk dude. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wandered into this house, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Hello, I go over." Ah, uh, you're dead. Nah, no, I don't think I'm dead. Randy says it's all about that wombo combo. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Some sort of pizza. Oh. Also, uh, Steven says k k k k combo. Dessert. Isn't that a song like Mama Loves Mambo? <laughs> Mama Loves Mambo. Yeah, yeah. that song's about the Randy's favorite pizza. <laughs> yeah. Randy loves Mambo. <laughs> Mambo and Combo. Ashley said it's BYOB. Um, that that's a room with some big old uh, big old speeder lights on it. it. And that's what I want to put on a flyer for my next birthday party. Bring your own pizza. Just have everyone bring a pizza. Damn it! What are you doing here? No, we I'm trying John's to birthday. aim up and shoot him in the and damn head. And then we can call it John's birthday pizza. <laughs> oh, I just keep getting murked by this dude. That's a claw dude. A claw. No, but he will be a claw dude because I didn't shoot him in the head. Oh, so is that is that what happens? Is if they don't get shot in the head, they turn into claw dudes? Shot in the head or burned? So uh, Fear Street. This is uh, from Steven. So Fear Street 1666 was boring as fuck, but that mid-film title drop honestly had me hype. Mm. Uh, yeah, I agree. That movie was boring as fuck in every respect. I like some of the 1666 stuff. Oh, oh, yikes! I would have uh, watched a whole movie of just that. Yeah, it's called, the, it's fucking called the Witch. It no, that's the Witch. <laughs> or if you're John, I would be the Witch in the Wood. Um, you gotta kill this guy because we gotta definitely do some shit in here. Oh, wreck. I will say that my favorite part of 1666 was the um, the stuff you were talking about. Because Steven's already heard our episode. Um, the paranoia stuff, like the. Yeah, the actual thing, witch dude? hunt stuff. Yeah, he said it's tough for me to watch anything attempting period horror that isn't Robert Eggers anymore. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I just saw a poster for the Lighthouse today. It was pretty dope, and I was like, "Ooh, that made it really good." I said it just like that, and all my coworkers were like, "Is that fucking okay?" <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Steven led me astray. He said that if I if I just aimed, it would automatically point in the right direction. I'm it so proud of you, though, for getting that zombie and not breaking a single one of these glasses that's in this room. Too dark. Light some candles, bruh. Do, I... Do we have the candlestick? You mean I don't have the lighter? Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Kevin, quit staring at me. You have me a complex. He's like, I just want to be with you. He said, uh, switch the controller type to auto. Defensive items? It is on auto. I don't know, he just said, in response to something you said, he said, you might have to turn that feature on, switch the controller type to auto. It is, yeah. It is on auto, you idiot. Oh. Damn. Is 
this yours? We can talk like that yes. now. We're friends. Can I have some? Like virtually. I don't have COVID. Just herpes. I don't want either of those things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Should I not be what? using this? You should be fine. Wait, is there something wrong with it? Do you have herpes? No. Huh? Herpes. No, not anymore. Huh? Yeah. Someone got me the serum in time. That's what happened to that guy. <laughs> Mama loves Mambo. Mama loves Mambo. The camera's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you, when I was editing the video, I heard you complain after I left about um, the number of door transitions that are in this game. Me? Yeah. It's, it is pretty ridiculous. Well, like, I get I get it, but I'm fine. I would be fine with it just fading to black and then fading back in. Yeah, so the floating door. Yeah. So I guess it just adds a little spice in between. Have we been down here before? Yeah, it's the one with the emblems. Hmm. I'm trying to. So what's uh? What's what's our objective? What are we doing? So right now, I'm gonna go get the lighter. Oh right. Do you remember where that room was? So there's one here on that floor. Do you remember where the dark room was? Yeah. Okay. Like roughly. <laughs> enough to enough to get us back there. Wow, this house is a real maze, isn't it? Today's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Tone mom. Everybody in the chat wish Tone's mom happy birthday. <laughs> she, I told her what we were doing. She go, well, how do I do that? And I was like, I'm not even going to try to fucking get you on. I want to twitch. Day. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's okay. wrong? Um, it's the door that we only get so many tries? No, it's about to be Dog City in here probably. Who? Dog City. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking sign me up. Hand you the controls then. No, 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 not for. I meant like. I'll to get. Go to dog I'll get my Baja man queued up. <laughs> you know this? <laughs> you know the other one? Uh, Randy says, "Happy birthday to your mom." <laughs> you know, <the> guy, you. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, she's a bitch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I went over there. My nieces were there, so that was pretty cool. What did they have to say? Whoa! Uh, this, do this does kind of suck, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Oh, fuck. Oops. This is new area, or no? No, we've been here before. I don't remember this. The other day, uh, John and I were playing Zelda, and there was a bathroom, mm -hmm. and they let you sit on the toilet, and then when you get up, it flushes. <laughs> so I was like, bro, he was fully clothed. That's pretty fucking gross. Yeah. The shit is bridges. Have you played any more, John? No, I have not. Have not. I'm trying to dodge this motherfucker. Shouldn't have given him your number. Ooh. I wish I had a defensive dagger right now. Okay, don't, don't combo me. Don't combo. There we go. Yeah. There's gonna be more Give the old before. wombo combo. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Is that one Jason Alexander? <laughs> I was gonna More say like that Kevin from the office. <laughs> <laughs> More like Chase and Alexander, am I right? <laughs> 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 uh, what? 
Because he was chasing me. You little uh, yeah. You see, it's funny because... <laughs> there we go. Because what? Um, because he changed the name to fit the situation, mm. and therefore it made it more the Situational funny. comedy. Way more doper. Is that what that means? <laughs> yeah. Very Sim- simple man brains. Sit- how to break sitcom. It down for you. Happy birthday to your mom. I oh, know we already said that. <laughs> <laughs> Happy yeah. birthday to your mom. We're past it. My mom's not a phone. Ooh, ooh. ooh. So I was sitting outside Brendan Theaters last night, yesterday, like during my shift. Just mm. sitting there. And uh I was waiting for my coworker to come out of the, the one of the buildings with some shit. And uh, this guy comes out of the Jamba Juice barefoot, turns around screaming back into the Jamba Juice, then starts spitting through the door into the Jamba Juice, and then picks up their like tent sign thing and swings it around and throws it. And then Did just, they forget to put the fucking extra protein boost or what? Right? And then he starts storming down barefoot with a, like a cigarillo in his mouth. And you know what the craziest part was? I was like, I fucking know that guy. <laughs> Did you say it wasn't my dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they forgot the protein shot thing. <laughs> no, no. Um, it was a guy from uh, back in the day that I that used to hang out outside of the Starbucks that I worked at. Also mm. homeless and twacked out. So, some things don't change, you know? You know? The more of that story. Um, Did you find out why he was so upset? No. I wasn't going to be like, yo, Joey, what's up? Uh, Did you know his name? Yeah. Oh, that was a joke? Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly. That's what his mom says. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Steven says it's a good idea to use upstairs hallways to circumvent dangerous ones of the first floor and vice versa to loop around to the safe rooms. Hey, um, that was a real mouthful, Steven. Can you make your uh, feedback a little bit more concise? Avoid the zombies. Also, um, did Barry leave me all those bullets because I suck? Is that what's what I'm led to believe here? Because if so, thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Man, I don't think you're doing enough with that Swiss Army knife. I almost said Swiss Army man. I wish you had one of those. One of these zombies is just Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> I like this light. It's pretty dope. <laughs> what guy? Do you want to come back? What the Did fuck? Did somebody learn how to open a fucking door? Did the zombies learn how to open doors? <laughs> hmm? What did say? Did somebody learn how to open the door? I think so. Yeah. Spent long enough pulling on that push side. So, um, he, Steven says no. He just does that about the bullets. He says no. He just does that if he plays Jill. She takes less hits to die, but gets more help from her side character and has a bigger inventory than Chris. Also, he just starts with a knife, which sucks. Yeah, I wasn't about to be doing that. Okay, so now... Now we're trying to go back to the dark room. Yeah, so I'm headed straight. It's pretty tough for you, isn't it, John? Damn. Got surrounded by so much gay. <laughs> gay people are tight. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag gay people are tight. Yeah, I feel like that's an overgeneralization, because I'm sure some of them are assholes. Just yeah. like straight people are sometimes assholes. Mostly assholes. Yeah, John. People are just generally assholes. <laughs> Um, dark room is not this way. <laughs> Sounds like a bad Borat joke. <laughs> dark room is not this way. Yeah. <laughs> My zombie wife. <laughs> Bless you. Thor the dark room. <laughs> you get one more. <sighs> That's what Randy said. What? Thor the dark room. Thor the dark room. <laughs> I would watch that. I would watch Hemsworth 
in a dark room developing pictures for an hour and a half more than I want to watch that movie again. Speaking of dark room, it feels like we're in a dark room right now. Like Ooh, we're just... It totally does. Uh -oh. Yeah, we have all the lights on. Oh, oh shit. Yoinked. More like chasing Alexander, am I right? <laughs> oh, we're fucked. We're big time fucked. Get that door! Get inside that door. Open it faster. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, we're... Oh, there's another one. Yep, and I have no healing items on me. Oh my hey. god, dude, you should have taken those herbs. Go, go. go. Run, 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 I'm trying, 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 I'm trying. Yeah, we're fucked. I thought zombies were like cows that couldn't go downstairs. No, they're like Daleks and they can't go upstairs. No, they changed that. They can like fly. They fly now. They fly now. Yep. Exterminate! Oh, show me that green herb. You know what I'm saying? We're in danger, so let's just do the. Let's huff some paint instead. <laughs> what is that up there that Anthony was talking about? It is a lockpick. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. Wait, <clears throat> but why is it just up there by itself? Because it's a, like a key item that doesn't take up space. Can we use it? Yeah, on certain things. Locks, specifically. I know, but every fucking door we come across is locked. You can't use it? I uh, can't use it for the ones that are like these guys. You gotta be, you gotta have the right access. Steven says, I've never thought about how a cow can't go downstairs before. There you go, that's kind of shit we're bringing to the fucking table. Pour some peat, baby. Okay. You know, you also swallow 800 spiders every night when you sleep. <laughs> None of that is true. <laughs> there's no such thing as spiders. <laughs> there's no such thing as sleep. And you definitely, there's no such thing as 800. I've never counted that high. How do I know it exists? <laughs> that spider thing is not true, though. Yeah, no, no, no. Roaches do sometimes climb in your nose and your ears, though. Well, great. Now I'm terrified. You know, it's a little bit disheartening is sometimes when I'm watching like early, early episodes of the X-Files and Scully says something that's like a scientific fact and I know that it's not a real scientific fact that's been like debunked or it's a myth or whatever. Uh, and then it breaks my suspension of disbelief a little bit and I go, damn it, Scully. I thought at for, that you were a fictional character that knew everything. Spiders are as threatening as birds. Not at all because they're not real. <laughs> uh, have you seen John's like, the birds? <laughs> Ooh, I found a battery. Why don't you cry about it? Arachnophobia is just a movie about people being scared for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. Arachnophobia? Yeah, and I think that we should do it for the show. <laughs> you just really want to abuse me, don't you? Well, I, I don't, but it's it's. Uh, hey, chat. Should, the people. Hey, chat. I don't want to because. It's something that you're actually afraid of. Like, there's not... The thing that I'm most afraid of is dying. So we deal that every fucking time we so watch anything. We're gonna, so we're going to kill him li live on a, on a stream. With spiders. With, well, because, like, I was I was trying to... Yeah, chat, let us know if John should watch Arachnophobia for the show. Um, I think you should. Better not do me dirty. What? Chat. It's one of those things where you just got to get it out of the way. You got It's a band-aid. But like a band-aid made of spiders. That sounds hell terrible. If I had a fear like that, yeah, I would go for it. Dude. Well, that's the thing is, I was trying to think, like, do I have a movie that would tickle that little... The only thing is, like, the really gross, like, rape baby stuff. I don't want to watch that. Not yeah. because I'm afraid of it, because it's fucking disgusting, and I don't see the point. Yeah, you have a, a very highly exploitable fear, and so we have, to, yeah. we have to, therefore, exploit it. Like, if I was afraid of heights, we could watch Man on a Wire or whatever. Or Vertigo. Or Vertigo. Vertigo? Vertigo, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that hasn't been done. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's make that right now. Deal? Oh, is Welcome to my next picture. Oh, no deal. All right, well, then you guys are off the fucking project. Vertigo. <laughs> uh, yeah, Steven says, do it, cowards. Damn. Well, why, why is that plural? 
is what I'm wondering. Um, and uh, Randy says, I'll buy you guys pizza if he watches it for the show. So now you got Randy on the hook for pizza if you watch Arachnophobia. So the whole time you've been... So now that you don't, you're taking food out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and this, How this, dare you? This, I know, right? Hey, oh. do me a favor and yeah. read this shit. Keeper's Dairy. <laughs> <laughs> played poker tonight. 1998. Uh, played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from Security. And Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. Steve. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It knows and looks like <laughs> a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were given were to give it live animals. Ugh. When I threw in a pig, the creature uh, seemed scared because it was Nicholas Cage's. <laughs> uh, so I tried throwing in a dog, and it turned out it was John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. Uh, May eleventh, ninety eight, at around five a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on said there had been an accident in the basement lab. Ooh. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th, 98. I've been wearing the damn space suit since yesterday. My, spin, my skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Oh, bad idea. May 13th. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Holy shit, how long is this diary, bro? <laughs> Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. Sang. My knees are weak, my palms are sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want mom's spaghetti. <laughs> I stretched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? Fear gone, but itchy. Today, hungry. And eat doggy. Or, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. It just doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. yeah Today, hungry and eat doggy food. I thought I fucked up. Itchy, itchy Scott. <laughs> Uh, came ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. <laughs> Itchy, tasty. So we just read the diary of a, of a person turning into a zombo, huh? Seems like it. Um, Steven says, I had nightmares for a week after watching my brothers play this specific part on the PS1. This part? Yeah, where you read that note. Huh? Where you read, that's a fucking creepy note. Oh. Like Shit. Chasing Boom. Alexander. I <laughs> <laughs> got it. Bro. That's a good ass joke. I'm very clammy though. <laughs> Don't go chase. Isn't it in uh, Thanks Killing when they make that like John Bidet joke the whole movie? And then everyone always laughs and then at the end some other dude makes it and everyone's like, no nah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it, yeah. Thanks killing. We we gotta do that. Yeah, I was like five, I think. That's way too... Yeah, that's only way too young to be watching this game. Whoa! This would have creeped, creeped me out. All the fucking doors, dude. <laughs> High proof liquor. Let's make some fucking Molotovs. Did we ever get to the dark room? No, we have not. But we got distracted by almost dying several times. Swimwear. Oh, there it is. I was like, I saw something that I could We got distracted up. by a blue light sail. We got 
got so much handgun ammo, we don't even know what to do with it. Bruh. Door. Oh, hey, speaking of your clammy hands, I think you could use uh, better help for that. Uh, <laughs> palm sweating. Clammy hands inducing anxiety. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe spaghetti. maybe next week. <laughs> a tiger glowing with one blue question. And one question she light. might ask you though is, uh, how often do you dink it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd be dinking. You know what I'm saying? Call me all rink a dink. <laughs> rink a dink tone. Yeah. Call me all Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Tony Rink a Dinklage Perez. <laughs> I had to do this thing at work when I first got hired where I had to like fill in my name and I just put Tony down just to be an idiot mm -hmm. and then we had to put a picture in uh, but I didn't want to so I took a screenshot of the like insert your image thing <laughs> and uploaded that so it still says like insert image <laughs> but because when people try to like contact me they get my information through that portal and so people are always like hey Tony and I'm like huh do you like the things I do? You probably walked out after doing that and did the, the like, Mr. Robot, like... <laughs> That's awesome. You're like, I'm elite hacker. <laughs> Are those alive to kill you? Oh, oh my god. Shit. sure is. As if on cue, it's the venomous tentacula. It's what? From Harry Potter? Oh, uh, totally. I know everything about that. <laughs> we have to find... Is that... Do you put the battery in there? No, you gotta the shock, batteries I You gotta shock the tentacula. Battery. How do you shock the tentacular? By finding its nipples and strapping the battery to it. See, it isn't pumping. Like, you gotta milk this thing, bro. So I take it that I need some sh some other stuff. Until, like, I need, like, plant killer or whatever. Oh. Uh, but where's the dark room, John? I don't remember which one is the dark room. Thor, Thor the dork room. <laughs> That's what we're in right now. The itchy tasting note was genre defining horror writing in games for when it came out. Huh? Also, before you go into that door with the webs, make sure you save. Did we already go through? No, it we can't open that one yet. We can't open it, idiot. Jeez, man. You gotta be calling everybody idiots, man. Hey, you call man. me an idiot. We have a we have a thing. It's, it, we have uh, we have a thing. Hey, can I have Is that? it a thing, or do you think it's a thing? It's Steven's crying. <laughs> I'm, sl I'm I'm prodding him to see how far I can push him. Better not talk about my mother. <laughs> no, I say it. In, I say it in jest me. because Steven's always the one who hops on and knows literally everything about everything we ever talk about. He says that's my secret cap. I'm always crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a verbatim quote of something I've said on the show. Maybe. Me too, man. Me too. Like, I'm crying right now. ABC, baby. Always that's the Force and Peak motto. Always be cranking. No, no. <laughs> it's either Cuban no, no. or crying. No, no. no you no. will die. Great job. No. All right. Let's, uh, let's read bad reviews for Arrival while we're sitting here. Anyone? <laughs> Oh, yikes. Yikes. Ooh. Damn. They get down those stairs. Oh. Oh. Spin moved him. Yep. Hit him with the jukes. Oh. You thought? Ooh. Did a fake right. Oh, Jesus oh my God. Christ. We're fucked. No, no, no. Oh. I just put him downstairs. Battery, baby. Don't, Hold that. Don't tase me, bro. Just go. Oh, now I gotta heal. Ooh, we are big time not good right? i got heels oh yeah steven brings up a very very good point um the reason i'm being so mean it's because he uh he says that he revealed the truth that even though one might enjoy it's a wonderful life it's indeed a boring film because chuck mine and chuck's oh it's we're a done wonderful life episode. game over man oh, it's been that. it's been real it's been fun it ain't been real fun Ooh. You were just uh, juking up a storm here, dude. I'm trying my Push best, but I'm dying. 
dying real bad. Yeah, also you're right, Steven. I had completely forgotten about that uh, fucking shit take that you had until you just brought it up, so. <laughs> Speaking of shit takes, let me read you this negative review for Arrival. <laughs> This movie was absolutely disappointing. There are almost no aliens, and it's just about talking problems. <laughs> talking problems. It's a drama movie, no sci-fi movie. When she says she studied, when she says that she's uh, an expert in linguistics, she's like, I'm an expert in talking problems. <laughs> <laughs> no explanations or scientific facts. No suspense or thrilling storyline. Compared to other new sci-fi movies like Moon, Elysium, Life, etc. It's a huge disappointment with no story. Totally overhyped for talking about life. Perhaps a movie for Students Club. <laughs> <laughs> Take this movie to your Students Club. <laughs> uh, let's do let's do another one. Chat, you guys pick a movie and I'll read that yeah. you love that you think is great. Yeah, chat. Pick and I'll a really read an great awful movie. review. My favorite review I sent to you guys that I read recently was. Um, was a person reviewing Space Jam A New Legacy when mm -hmm. they were like this movie is like it was directed by uh, an anthropomorphic headache <laughs> <laughs> remember that uh, Randy's gonna come over by the way remember, hi. remember that ad for that like Toyota Corolla or some shit where the dude was like it's seen some shit but it's a good car and it was hell a lot you remember that it's like Craigslist or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Find it. Hey, chat. Oh, uh, find an awful review. Randy says, find an awful review of Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. I'm Morgan Freeman. I was hoping I'd get an excuse to use my Morgan Freeman impression. Don't do that, Batman. So, uh, <laughs> overall, it's got to. <laughs> <laughs> That's real bad. <laughs> Don't do that, Batman. <laughs> Good luck. It's got an 80 from uh, critics and a 90 from uh, users. Zero negative reviews from critics. It's this low life of people that you got to worry about. All right, Quincy. I'm sorry, Quincy Jackson. Freeman is red freedom character <laughs> searching for nothing but to pace his life in prison robbins is a robin hood who does more strength than the hero he becomes a prisoner also a librarian teacher friend and smart banker who reads books <laughs> these two characters start off and end off by learning how to live trying and die trying <laughs> That just sounds like somebody who is I do desperately not enjoy trying to get a grasp on the English language. I do not enjoy a film that drags on, bores, and tells a message with bad wording, a bad script, and badly done lesson. That prisoners get the right to do many things than sit in a rotting cell and eat disgusting food all day. There you go. Oh, so they were pissed that oh, the characters now. actually do something besides just sit and rot in a cell? Sounded like it. I couldn't make sense of that. We have light. I will definitely take shotgun shells. How is this movie at the top of IMDb Top 250? Nobody knows, but one thing is certain. Movie made for people with low IQ get excitation. <laughs> Yay, we got the music score! Woohoo! Ooh, Maybe fine. that's why I don't like it. Bum, 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 bum. Finally making some bum, 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 bum. Oh, uh, find a bad review of Inglorious Bastards. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Hell yes. Is that Randy again, or Randy just wants to hear it? Be a no, that's uh, from Steven. Oh, okay. Making progress. I want making my bacon scalps. Bacon progress. Bacon progress. Honestly, I probably feel like there's going to be a lot, just because I can see people... Not understanding Tarantino. <laughs> okay, so I need to get out of here. Not that I agree with that. And then I need to find my way back to the music room. I 
it has some negative critic reviews. Oh, yeah, I could definitely see that being more of a thing with with Tarantino than with uh, some of those other films. Tarantino is a little more on the divisive side. This one just says, Tarantino is loosing his touch. <laughs> Ooh, jukes, bitch. He's Hold loosing that. it. Very dull. So very dull. This person's like, uh... <clears throat> I went in expecting a new uh, a new vision and terror from mastermind Eli Roth, and instead he played a Jew bear. <laughs> Let's see what's another bad one. This movie was written like all. I don't even know how to say that. Where matched soldiers supported the Nazi regime and deserved to be slaughtered. Ugh. Those are some pretty rough takes. Okay, so now I'm, I'm one of the people who did not get the memo that we all should praise this movie to high heavens because it's Tarantino's baby. I like his previous movies a lot, in fact. Pulp Fiction is one of my favorite movies of all time, but I don't get in Glorious Bastards at all. Tarantino drags the story through painfully long and pretentious dialogue that is not funny or interesting. It sometimes works in his movies. This time it doesn't. It's not a war movie. It's not a comedy, nor a thriller. It's just Tarantino. It has its moments, but unlike most of his movies, this one is easily forgettable. Damn. Well, people have shit opinions on that. Give us another movie. Give us a movie that would have a real, <coughs> a Please real don't divisive make shit movie. <laughs> and don't waste two hours of life of lots of people. You best. Heard. The star of the. The movie is worse than the worst of the Tarantino movies, Django Unchained. <laughs> what? Now I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset. I'm upset. Say it, John. <laughs> I'm upset. Uh. Steven says, mmm, delicious cringe tastes. I think he means takes, but. Tastes? Maybe he meant tastes. Maybe he meant itchy tasty. Oh, itchy tasty. I'm gonna get my schnikes pushed in dude? here, but we'll... Mm. Basically nothing in that. Pretty sure I just drank your spit, John. <laughs> Tight. You could fill it up if you like. Talk about a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> there should be some fresh water in it in the frig. That's what John says to his wife when he comes home on My wife weekend, is here. On weekends. My wife <laughs> is here! I know she's here. What did he say? He says, uh, can you fill her up? <laughs> and, then he, and then he points. I'm gonna go get water. <laughs> Yay, we have the sheet music! And that's where you wanna do it. Burr, 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 he points burr, his burr, own burr. butt and then you go. Mm. What? We've told him before, that's Modesto's ass. Oh, sad Um, it's pretty good right now. I loved on the last stream when you were like, can I eat chips on the stream? I said that? Yeah. And John was like, I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, that is the most Anthony Player Perez, BCBA, nice to meet you, sentence you, I've ever heard in my entire life. You talk about food. That, you talk about food almost the entirety of that stream. At one point, um, we just you guys discuss spicy dill chips. Oh, Ooh, yeah, those, those are in there. Did Steven end up getting them? Hey Steven, did you get any spicy dill <laughs> chips? He also says he meant cringe taste, but he's imbibing. Vibing and imbibing. Tattoo. Yeah. It's because you don't. Clean. All the things she said and such. It's because you don't clean your butt well enough. That's why it itches. Dude, I fucking. <laughs> you know? 
I can we get the yeah yeah I need yeah, I need you to sit right here and show yeah. show chat what you just did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On the whole, uh, Steven says he was unfortunately not to, able to find these mythical chips you speak of. <laughs> That's because Florida sucks. Is that where he's at? Yes, he is. In yeah, he is a Florida, Florida man. Also, <laughs> Don't might, say that. He'll come after me. <laughs> Only if I'm in Florida, though. They can't leave the bounds of their territory. No, their because Florida he's still a Florida man. If he's somewhere else, he's still a man from Florida. Yeah, but they can't leave Florida. What? Well, uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Once you're there, you, you can't ever leave. It's like Hotel California. <laughs> but Florida. <laughs> it does super suck, he says. <laughs> I actually can't attest to that. I apologize. Hey, Steven, have you ever found a scorpion in your bed? He says, I'll ride an alligator over there wielding a machete and meth. <laughs> totally. Question is, do you know Florida? That's where he lives, dummy. Okay, we're in the right hall. The real question is, do you know the Muffin Man? The do Muffin you? Man! <laughs> the Muffin Man! <laughs> the Muffin Man! <laughs> All right, John. This one's for you, buddy. Oh, you are you about to you about to talk about Goodfellas right now? <laughs> no, that's a good ass idea. What are you talking about then? He, he's about to pull up some bad fellas. <laughs> when I was a kid, I did find a scorpion in my bedroom. Dude, it happens. It happens if you're in Florida. It happened to my grandparents. Ooh, we're getting some <laughs> some sweet piano music. Ooh. Oh, Don Piano. Oh, oh Long Johnson. That reference. <laughs> it's just one of those pianos that plays itself, and she's just pretending. Uh, player piano, yeah. <laughs> you ready for this, John? This movie takes all the reject aliens from Star Wars, the slapstick comedy of a cartoon, the dramatic elements of Blade Runner, and ends up being one of the stupidest films I have seen in most recent memory. Not all of it is bad, though. Bruce Willis uh, uh, does he can with the script. Yeah. Gary <laughs> Oldman's accent is amazing, and Chris Tucker is noteworthy. <laughs> but Chris Tucker is noteworthy is probably the... Like, like understated. <laughs> yeah, the most understated thing ever. <laughs> but the story is simple awful. <laughs> uh, the practical special effects look nice in some areas, but then look awful in others. The acting isn't great, and the ending of the last hour or so of this movie is atrocious. I can see where people can like it, but with many, many better sci-fi movies out there, it's just not my thing. Oh, wait. John Brasher, 53. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're up on reading duty. Trevor's Dairy. November 24th, 1967. 11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, um, Pause here because Randy's about to come in. Who? I believe Hi. it should be Randy, right? Call him in. Mom? I wish I was here. We have a guest. Hey. Oh my gosh, it's so wet in here. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Hello, Kevin. Oh, I'm all right. Yeah, I'll come sit with you. Hey, Steven, have you ever found a snake in your boot? <laughs> Uh, Steven says, are you getting Randy, baby? <laughs> Which yeah. has to be the first time you've ever heard that joke. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's very original, yeah. yeah. And we've got, we've got all four of the, of the, the Peak Boys on camera right now. Peak Boys. We've got like half, Past, half present, and future. All right, anyway, back to, back to the readings. Mm -hmm. And said, sorry, sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. reasons. That's when it hit me. Sense now. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Right, there are only two people that know the secret, secret of this Sir Spencer, Sir Spencer and, and, and myself. If they Spencer kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only Woo! person that knows the secret. Howard Berg up in here, the speed reader. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I, I hope, hope they're, they're all right. right. <laughs> you can't just read the last sentence. <laughs> I decided to escape. Just kill Lisa. I pray for safe. <laughs> I decided to escape. Just kill Lisa. I pray you are safe. <laughs> Sure, you just spoke in tongues. Now yeah, say all the lyrics English. to Michael Jackson's "Bad." A bad. <laughs> <Shamo. Come on. laughs> How could I be so careless? 
How could you be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday, and it was going to be a, that much harder to escape this dark place. So. Sounds like it's a script from The Leftovers, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed, my aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. Also, uh, Steven says that he did find a snake under the cushion of his couch once. Tight. Man, fuck Florida. We gotta break Florida off of that side and California off of this side and let them float off. But wait, even as I am writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coats said something like, Most likely your family is already... I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of the room of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> <Traps>. Tiger. <laughs> Tiger eyes. Gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. <laughs> sake bomb. All right. So we take need the emblem. No, we can't take the emblem because it closes the door. We have to go back and get the wooden emblem and replace it. But that one's shiny. I want the shiny one, John. Why is it always before you gotta go left, you gotta go right with you, dude? You know? Playing games. Can't right ever just be wrong with you? <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. I'm a little warm. Is it this light? Probably a little bit. I feel good, but that's because I'm still directly you get diagonally. You get the, the full grunt of the oscillation. The diagonally. Kevin. Hey, so what's up, Randy? How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, how you doing? Doing good. Just wrapped up some work and got offered a new... Huh? Got offered a new chunk of work. You nice. did? Nice. Yes. What Any, is anything you can uh, talk about? All I know is it's another video game. They're going to tell me about it on Tuesday. Well, that's tight. Oh, uh, developer? Uh, don't know what developer, but it's like a, an outsourced company that was like, we need a bunch of audio engineers for this job. Nice. That's sweet. That's sweet. So I'm just going to say yes. Tight, and it's and I I think you're it's already public on kind of your Instagram that you've been working on Chris Tales, right? Yeah, that's done. That's out. Yeah. I just have to put my copy in a box. Nice. In case you're wondering if anything's happened uh, since you were gone, uh, we're still in the house. The whole game's in the house, isn't it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dying in the house, and I'm in the house dying. <laughs> I saw some faster zombies. Oh, I mean, it's, it's we're littered with them. I haven't I haven't done enough. Uh, we're littered with. Them. I haven't done enough pruning. What's the X on that door? Yeah, we got some uh, Usain bolts up. In there. Uh, that door, I believe, is not openable anymore. Ah. Are the I red ones ones you can't open anymore? Mm -hmm. Well, I think they're ones that are either already locked or. Oh, the something. X is probably one you can't open anymore. Exactly. Huh? X on YouTube. <laughs> can't say that. Too that soon. You can't play that and say that until the next game. Why? We'll see. Is DMX in it? It's the X virus. <laughs> no, what? there's, there's a, there's a. <laughs> it just makes all the zombies go what? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Drop! <laughs> Where the fuck are oh, the zombies, zombies at? <laughs> I feel, I feel like we're we're gonna get ourselves in trouble. Our entire Twitch career so far is at like a little bit disparaging uh, rappers who are no longer with us. What? We we said some shit about Biz last week. No, we it's paid not it's not our fault they didn't make it onto the stream. That's true. One, we played full respect to Biz Marquee. Two, and we're not making fun of DMX for dying. And DMX we're, is tight. We're homaging his song. Yeah, he's probably looking up at us right now. Oh, cause... okay. Well, <laughs> may have crossed the line. <laughs> I just met because we're on the second floor. So. Oh. Of oh, like heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, what are you... <laughs> this isn't lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I really don't like these clothes, man. Okay, fancy pizza man. B-I-N-G-O. <laughs> Who's Shrekker? Oh, F, F... S he is. Oh, oh, shit! Yikes! Eyes on the prize! Uh, we're streaming. It's a, no, no, it's exactly what you think it is. This is our OnlyFans. 
He's like, so you guys doing pizza for the murderer? What's up? Or is this a prop? <laughs> I could see how uh, dismembering a corpse could could make you a little bit hungry. Now, this is pizza for the dark room orgy. Oh, or John! Jesus Christ, I'm getting my shit pushed in a little bit. What's our, what are we is doing now? I, ha I have not paid attention. So I need to go yeah. get the emblem. Did you guys already get those? The, yeah, whatever the ones with the claws are. Yeah. Oh, you're about to die, dude. Yeah, and I don't have anything to to do some heel skis with. Quick, eat the lighter. Ooh. Is this a... Uh, nope, this is not the save room. No, nah, it's locked. A helm. Oh, it's down here. But there's going to be a dude. Warn me if he comes out. Unless I killed him, and he's like permadead, which I doubt, but maybe he is? Question mark? Did you guys know that uh, Drake Bell's name is Jared? Um, His real name? Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, I was going to say, just just like the other famous Jared of yeah. Subway fame, he's also a sex pervert. Uh, is that what? Yes, that, that emblem we get rid of, and then we go get the good Yeah, emblem. I didn't know that about that guy. Did you guys ever watch Drake and Josh chat? Because if you did, now you got to feel bad about yourselves. No, I was not really a fan. Loved iCarly, though. That's very strange. I mean, but that also, like, low-key like low check. Actually, out. it just came back. I know. Oh. <laughs> And the fact that he said that so enthusiastically means that he wasn't lying about the first part. No, yeah, I, I wasn't. I used to watch iCarly. That show was tight. It was about kids that had a studio and they made video. Like, that's what, what the fuck? Yeah. What do you. Oh my god, it all makes sense. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Obviously, I'm Carly, right, right, John's right, right, right. the guy, and you're at Sam. Yeah, um, Dan Schneider, who was behind like Drake and Josh, so, iCarly, uh, Zoe 101, is also a sex pervert. Okay, well, you're making me uncomfortable. I mean, what makes you a sex pervert? Because, like. Uh, he's, a, he's a sex pest. I well, feel like he's a sex pest. What do you mean? I mean, just by term. It seems like. Well, no, because you could be into sex, but not be a fucking pervert. <laughs> well, in all of these cases, it's because it's, it's an age thing, so I think that kind of. I know what you're That's saying. That's pretty I'm cut and dry. <laughs> She's not going to give you pizza if you have your hand now, bro. <laughs> no, I was... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, Garson? <laughs> A slice would be nice. Yeah. Dan okay. Schneider. Shrekers, thanks for the follow. Yeah, that's why she's not coming back for the new one, right, Sam? What? Jeanette McCurdy. What happened? She had, like, a bunch of issues um, after playing Sam on iCarly. <laughs> well, she came out with that, like, lingerie photo, and Disney got hella pissed off about it. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon got hella pissed off about it. <laughs> oh, that Disney didn't help at all. We're, we're <laughs> just, we, we, oh, we're stunlocked. We'd be stunlocked. This is game over. Disney was pissed it wasn't one of their child stars. Oh, I just wanted to get Wait, that Wait, so that she herb. came out with a lingerie photo while she was still I doing iCarly? Yeah. 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 And so then that, that ended up being a big deal. And then there was the other stuff about um, Dan Schneider being a sex pest. Toward her? I think so, yeah. Oh, that's why she's not back, huh? Part of it. I think she just had a bad go of it. That sucks. Around. She was great. She was one of the best parts of that show. She had her own spinoff for a little bit. Yeah, it was like that with something else, right? It, it was like, Sam and someone else. Yeah, from a different show. They spinned off. Spun off? Spun off. Spinned it off. Spindled two shows. They spin. They, they, they spunk off. One. <laughs> no! That was the problem! <laughs> they done spun it off. <laughs> snapped one off. Ugh, I just spun it. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. <laughs> You're so sweaty. I said, why are you so sweaty? Oh. I've been spun it all day, dude. Oh, it smells, like, it smells like straight spun in here. <laughs> spun, yeah, for spun to cheese. <laughs> you done? <laughs> what? Head the game, dude. Head the game, John. He just got spun on the brain. <laughs> what opened with the piano? 
Oh, Steven says, Steven says sponge stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to take the golden emblem, and we're going to put that shitty little emblem in there. Let me double check and make sure I don't need to remove it from the emblem before I start dropping things. Drop it like a shit. Oh, I think the same. Drop it like a hot. Drop it like a hot. Well, hit check. Did you hit check? And when them pigs try to get at you. See, I'm glad. You, I'm, I'm glad you got it. Got what? I, <laughs> what happened? You got inappropriate stuff on your phone. No, I I posted on on uh, our Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, dude, we're on the porno website? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's trying to split one out. off. That checks out. No, I just wanted to type in Pornhub and to look for the like logo generator. Mm -hmm. I had to you know, sift through all of the porn that popped of my own porn. That's you know? the worst and, part about that kind of stuff. So you try to order a bidet or you could not type in tush.com, you know? <laughs> I think that they had to go for the website. I think it's Hello Tushy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On a, it's like, on, that sounds like you're itching for trouble. On Red Letter Media's um, Best of the Worst, one of the movies they were doing was called Black Cougar, and it was like a, <laughs> and it was like a uh, Black Panther ripoff. Okay. And um, <laughs> Can you imagine trying to search for that shit? That's the, that's the bit. Is like, um, on the box, they had the website, which back in the day was for the movie. So then they were like, uh, in, uh, on the video, they were saying like, okay, so, but they're like, the website still exists, so if you just go to www.blackcougar.com, <laughs> they were like, I stills from the movie and a trailer, it's like, so make sure you go to blackcougar.com. Did you do it? No. Because I know exactly where that would go. All right, little Hades. Hand. That's a fancy clock. Oh, you got the clock to thing to do. I did. <laughs> Where's your heart? I Degree in books. <laughs> yeah. I so, uh, tone, it, tone, it sounds like you need uh, somebody to help you out with those talking problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would love to have a correspondence with A.B. Adams. My mom was telling me today that she like text her landscaper. Oh, sorry. And that he never like responded. And I was like, why don't you just call him? And she's like, well, he don't talk. Uh, English good. <laughs> or maybe she said speak. Either way, she said, he don't speak English good. And I was like, well, neither do you, but that's on stopping you. <laughs> she got real mad. Got he, her. Don't, he don't talk too much good English, that boy. He don't know that English, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get Oh, my God. It's one of those weird, like, incremental shifts. Yeah. You gotta turn it from six to midnight. <laughs> you need like that 250. Yeah, but it won't let me do that. Maybe you need. I feel like if you shift one, it'll like maybe let you shift the other incrementally differently. Oh, do you have to match the clock up with the sword? Yeah. That's the intent, but it's like. Are there other. Mm, I don't. I don't think they're just like. Just like the books. Is who from Florida? Amy Adams? Oh, is it maybe your mom. Is your mom from Florida? No. No. I don't know why I had to repeat that. Like, <laughs> he can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Keep turning. Oh, you know what? I think it's not based on time. I think it's uh, the uh, so the big one. I think you're stabbing someone in the chest, and the little one is stabbing in the head. That's what I just said. I said you got to make them match up with the picture of the swords. No. So what I'm saying, see how there's a, a helmet and a chest plate there? 
So you got to turn it from six to midnight. Yeah, exactly. So dagger in the chest and the sword in the head. Is that what you got? That's oh, so no, it's the reverse order though. He said you have big brain puzzle energy. Who said that? Steven. Yeah, we do escape rooms on the daily, bro. <laughs> It's so sad for escape oh, rooms. Gosh. Like they were, they had such a, they were such a big deal that they made two shitty horror movies. No, there's hell of them, dude, and I've watched them all. All the escape room movies. There's no escape room, <laughs> which is like very misleading. Like, why would I go to that? Yeah. And then there's the, the two of this franchise, and then I think there's like another one, like a straight to sci-fi one. I played hooky one day from work and just watched all of them back to back. He played. To back. Yeah. Hope Works not watching the stream. Huh? I said Hope Works not watching the stream. Oh, uh, well, they fired me, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, I turned the wrong one. Hey, you fucked up, dude. Yeah, I did fuck up. Now I gotta dude, you overspunned it. Hey. <laughs> Large gear. The large the gear left. turns the small one. <clears throat> Steven says, did they fire you because you wouldn't stop watching escape room movies? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's because of COVID, noises. man. <laughs> it's because he kept trapping people in escape rooms and getting COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Good luck. Because he kept annoying people in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> Like okay. looking for clues under the tape, under the table and shit. Listen, if anybody was annoying people in the break room, it was us <laughs> collectively. We were talking about variants the other day, and I was like, I think that Brittany and I are variants of each other. Oh my god, that totally makes sense. <laughs> She's the Sylvie to my Loki, <laughs> but without like the romantic part of it. I was gonna say, how does that make you feel, John? <laughs> Knowing how that season I mean, ended, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd hit it <laughs> on both ends. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't like, I also don't like that. <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're like, I'm going to need one of these right here. <laughs> Suddenly pulls out what? a sweater. Suddenly pulls out a sweater that he ties around his waist. Oh, <laughs> uh, I need, I need to go back to get my, <laughs> I need to back, go back home and get my binder. <laughs> okay, so we were, oh God, I never even thought about that. So are all the fanny pack dads at Disneyland, is that what they're doing? What, they put their dicks inside the back room? Inside the fanny pack. Which is high it's like a dick in a box. Is it? Yeah. That's not what, really. Yeah, yeah because swear. because fanny means vagina in, in, in other in places. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a... Yeah, exactly. A dick in, a dick in a, Whoever said that, a dick in a box situation. Dick in a box. It's my dick That's usually where I put my so. My dick in dick in dick in <laughs> dick in a box. Okay. That's my provider. That's why every time I sleep with someone, I say, There's some shiny What's in the box? box. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the box. <laughs> I'm in the box. It was All of you, get me. out. <laughs> I was in the box. Surprise, I was in the box. What are we, what are we doing, though? So I just, we just got a key. Okay. We got a shield key. Somehow John is keeping his attention on the game throughout he put all the of this. the key in the lock. Well, that's exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so. And it all comes back, baby. It's all coming back to me now. Any jokes? Anybody got any jokes? It's a good one. Accurate. That's more of just a fact. Is it on the key? I'm trying to think of a movie that I really like that I would be like, that I want to hear a bad review for. Starship Troopers. There's probably a ton of them. Yeah, <laughs> what do you mean? That's easy. <laughs> um, do Resident Evil. Ooh, yeah. I'm, I bet there's some good ones for Resident, the Resident Evil movies. The one that does not exist. It's a movie right. I love that people do. Goodfellas it is. Oh. Why must you do this to me? <laughs> I'm not. You're just trying to make me angry. No, I did a bad one for Fifth Element to make you happy. Yes. Look I... at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You all right? Yeah. Oh. It wasn't my head. It was my hands. I okay. almost punched your shelf off the wall. Well, I'm glad that, that it wasn't and you saw it head. live. 
The first one's not Defensive even dagger. the highest rated one, which I thought it would be. Yeah, see, but Steven says that, that the Resident Evil movies are actually bad, though. Yeah, I'm trying to... So, yeah, we're going to do Goodfellas. Oh, uh, what is going to happen? I okay, you know. got it. Is it one word? Yes. Just a couple of Goodfellas being dudes. Ooh, grenade launcher. Jesus. Is that how you kill the plant thing? No, the plant thing, we need, like, plant killer. <laughs> That's a plant killer? All right, John, here we go. Critically, there are zero negative reviews and one mixed review. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> okay, Hell calm down, Hogan. <laughs> Did you see that, that that thing where somebody painted the, the Jason mask with, like, the mustache and the bandana? And it said, uh, uh, it was like, bro, bro. You say that every time, and then you uh, miraculously you fucking stone cold stun. <laughs> and, that, and that's exactly what I was about to say was that when I'm saying hell yeah, brother, I mean stone cold Steve Austin. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, Love brother. Stone cold Steve Austin. Well, maybe say it with a little more gusto. <laughs> hell yeah, brother. What you do with that ball head? Ooh, he just popped right on through that shit. Oh, you're dead. There's no coming back from that. Just to make sure. Make sure it's not wasteful. Delicious cheese pizza, just for me. I thought that was the height of luxury. <laughs> I want to find a real bad one for you, bro. Let's go on my letterbox and try to see if I can find letterbox.com slash here be monster. Shit was plugged. Oh, look up some bad reviews for The Shining. The Whoa, Shining! We're not bro, trying to get sued. Come on, man. All right, I'll get the fuck out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Dude, what did you fill with water? The, your water bottle. Can I have some? Can I have some of my own water? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not... Can I have it? Can I have your number? Can I have it? Can I have it? Oh, I ain't reading that one. I watched this film several times now, and each time I've grown to dislike it more and more. There are no life lessons to be learned from this movie. Viewing this film would not enrich the spirit. Rather, it will leave a dark stain on your soul. Fuck you, OCD 766. Well, you read that wrong, but close enough. <laughs> Is there an L? We have a new internet, darling. Everybody. Oh, 6766. Hi, buddy. Kevin Bernier. My favorite boy. That's it, though, that I could find is those two bad ones. Hell yeah. It says there's 57, but they're not popping up, so. Probably just star ratings with no reviews. Oh, is, you can do that? This dude's probably going to come right back. I don't think I need anything over here, do I? Hey. Kevin. Come here, Papa. Kevin. 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 Oh, fuck you, man. You're not close to that pizza. Kevin! Where's our water bottle? You somehow get some sauce on you? Don't get lost in the sauce. Uh-oh. That was from when yeah. he was sponding earlier. He's, he's a new internet we're darling. Okay. Hey, we're okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, you think maybe season four you're going to retire the uh, name? You know, actually this morning I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, I, I might retire it and come up with something else. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to retire the bit of having a, a nickname. A nickety name? Listen to this banger that I just found.
Oh, he had that grid. Hey, don't 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 get us a copyright struck. Hey, it's not it's less than thirty seconds. Is that a it thing? was transformative, alright? What happened? He just didn't want us to get copyright or DMCA claimed or whatever. Claimed because we played uh Pornhub's theme. Is they have a theme song? Yeah, it's the boom ba chum boom boom Shut up! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I only found I was like I could not for the life of me understand what this joke was that this YouTuber kept playing and it was this kid in, the, in this gym you've probably seen it the kid in the gym playing the, the theme mm. and I everybody like started fucking whatever. cheering and I was like what why do I recognize that song it would be fucking forever <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's because I'm a sex pest yeah <laughs> I honestly didn't know they had a theme. I don't think I've ever heard it. You usually, you usually skip the first few minutes. <laughs> oh. Listen to it on mute. Uh, the fourth? Yeah. Not like he's porn hub. He's Bellessa. <laughs> what? It's made by women. It's, so it's classier. Coming. Yeah. I've never even heard of it. Well, that's because you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm doing after this stream. <laughs> Your own stream? So my own personal spun time. Yeah, there you go. So I'm pretty sure that the she that that spider door is a shield door. So I need to save and I need some help, real bad like. I need a hero. A healer. <laughs> I need a healer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm holding out for a healer. Hi, nine. Somebody throw something in the chat. It's feeling kind of dead. Ha. <laughs> Have you watched uh, the movies that made us or make us? Uh, some of it. I think I watched the Home Alone one. With the narrator that's like, "Hey guys, yeah. welcome to the movies that made us." I, made I watched the really evil. a bunch of the toys. Hey guys. Hey kiddos. Boils and ghouls. And Jurassic Park. <laughs> I thought you said Forrest Gump, and I was like, <laughs> Forrest Gump. Horse gum. Horse gum. <laughs> horse, <laughs> horse gum. <laughs> That's what they call it before they turn it into glue. <laughs> horse gum. <laughs> you should remember that horse gum. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, man. Oh, we are at, Can I use the serum to heal myself? That'd be stellar. You know what drives me crazy when people say serum instead of serum? And they're like, oh, I gotta take the serum. You ever heard that? Serum? Mm -hmm. Sounds like some. Is some, that, uh. Some well, yeah, but which one is actually right? right? Do you know for sure? It's Have like, you ever looked up the. It's like lever and lever. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say yeah. that. Yeah. Like what? Aluminium. Serum? Oh, aluminium? No, but I think it's actually spelled differently in Europe. Serum? No, aluminium. <laughs> Still, no? Serum? <laughs> serum? Serum? Sperm? Would you. Steven says, would you rather have to wear peanut butter in your sock for a day or have a booger hanging out of your nose that you can't remove all day? Peanut butter. Because I love peanut butter. On your feet, though? Why not? It's great for my skin. And then Kevin can lick it off. Um, you can put it on only pants. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down! Shut it down! We're going dark, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> the feds are watching. <laughs> um, but to answer your question, Stephen, I think I'd go booger, and here's why. I don't like <laughs> I thought you were just gonna say here's why and then not say it. <laughs> Just crickets. Here's why, Steven. <laughs> no, uh, but seriously, because I really like peanut butter, so I would just want to eat the peanut butter and I ain't eating it off my foot like some kind of animal. That yeah, foot butter. Yeah. Yeah, I but feel then at the end of the day you can pick the booger and you're gonna help enjoy that. Exactly, dude. He's gonna enjoy it like some peanut butter, you know what I'm saying? See, I'm a nose picker, though. I feel like peanut butter in my sock is a shame that only I have to know about for the whole day. If there's a booger hanging from my nose and I'm in public, yeah. then that's something that people are gonna remember. And then, and then mm -hmm. 
people are gonna know me as the, the dude who had the booger hanging out of his nose. That all booger day. guy. But nobody's gonna your like a few reader? people throughout the day might be like, hmm, kind of smells like peanut butter. But unless I'm like, yo yeah, guys, but they're also, they're also gonna smells kind of like booger. Have the wettest farts when you walk down the hall. The <laughs> and wouldn't who who would be mad at peanut butter farts? Yes. They wouldn't it know that they're like peanut, peanut butter. butter. They would just hear the sound. Oh, the... (laughs) 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 Totally, and it smells like booger. Is that peanut... But I also also work from home, so I don't have to see anybody all day. Uh So for you, the peanut butter would just be for fun. fun. (laughs) No, the booger... No, it's a regular zombie. It would be a terrible question if someone had a peanut allergy. (laughs) (laughs) So you want to have a booger in your nose all day or instant death? (laughs) (laughs) Booger or anaphylactic shock? (laughs) So I guess we're uh, we're kind of split down the middle on that one, huh? I don't know. You said John? you said booger. I said booger. I said peanut butter. I said peanut butter. Peanut butter for Randy. I feel like having peanut butter on my foot would make peanut butter for me. What do the brashers have to say? I feel like you guys. Kevin's like, dude, I, you could put peanut butter on my feet right now. <laughs> <laughs> like that peanut butter ain't lasting all day. I tell you that. Oh, that's a good point, too. Yeah. Is it meaty peanut butter, or is it smooth peanut butter? I guess it depends on oh, how much you like peanut butter, Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ew, I'm when, just picturing, like, peanut butter. When do you guys toes, take like, your like, pants off? Nuts, like, huh? Toes. That's, that's, only, that's only when we start getting some money from you guys. <laughs> is that Jeff? Who? Rogers for life. Is that Jeff? Oh, it might be. Yeah, if you want to shoot some uh, internet bucks our way. I'll, no. take, I'll take some of these pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember that show on Spike, Pants Off, Dance Off? No. Sure don't. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him either. <laughs> yeah, totally, me neither. I, I totally just made that up. <laughs> it sounds familiar, but it also just be because Pants Off, Dance Off. It was one of those shows that's, like, perfect when you don't have your own computer to watch porn, so it's, like, the closest thing you can get, because really the whole bit was mostly women, occasionally men, would have to compete against each other just stripping, and, like, the show was just them stripping, obviously not to complete, and then if they got to complete nudity, then I had, like, the show logo on or whatever. Um, but... Was there music? Yeah. Yeah. No dance to no music. It's yeah. a dance-off, but there's no music. Yeah, bro. You know how much money you gotta pay to copyright music? To get copyrighted music? You know what I'm saying? Oh, now they're both saying they give us money every month, so... Um, not yeah. take pants off money. Yeah, that's not take pants off money. You get Chuck involved in it. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, you guys already get perks for that. This is a different, <laughs> this is a different perk. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you see my porcelain peak. That tier's a little bit above your pay, your pay grade. <laughs> I mean, if you guys really want, what's the stipulations on Twitch? Uh, huh? uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are, please don't take your pants off. Yes. <laughs> Staunchly. <laughs> no, I'm getting, I'm getting into a pool. <laughs> we need, what it is, we right? need a glass of water right here. Be like, yeah, that's our hot tub. Oh, I'll just... <laughs> Dip my toe in. <laughs> that's, that's our hot tub. Shoutouts to Amaranth or Indie Fox. The fucking chat is just trying to get us banned. They can't because they don't have to sit through this shit anymore. <laughs> we want to support you, but God, this is awful. Steven says, if you're in a hot tub, you can get away with a lot, which kind of sounds like it's, he murdered somebody. <laughs> 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 is everything okay? Is he the one from Florida? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't put it past the Florida man, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, do I have the lighter with me? I do. I have not been paying attention at all, man. They call, they call him the moccasin because he kills people with moccasins. Mm. <laughs> the shoe, not the snake. <laughs> what? I said the shoe, not the snake. Is there a snake called a moccasin? Yeah, well, like a water moccasin. Huh. They live in Florida, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the water mo- moccasins aren't like water shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you try hard enough. 
There's a snake as my boot. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Of course, the one key I don't have. You gotta, okay. you got the map now. Huh? Yeah, but I don't know what that, what that Why means. Why should Kevo? He's like flicking my leg if he came over and wouldn't stop. <laughs> He's like, hey, <laughs> shut your mouth. We're not a leg flicking family here. None of that tomfoolery. Well, shout out to. Uh, it's, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a while. What's your guys' favorite? Hey, chat, chat. What's your guys' favorite shitty '90s song? Shitty '90s song. Mm, that's a good question. Like a song that is like. Trick question. There aren't any, bro. The '90s rocked, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Um. Barbie girl. Huh? Barbie girl. Yeah. Barbie girl. That's a '90s. You song. were hella into fucking <laughs> Eiffel '65, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was that like 2000? I remember that, that shit, dude. Yeah. That was like fifth grade. So. <laughs> That's like 2000. Yeah, if dude, if you were green, you would have died. <laughs> <laughs> Where the arms wide open. Is that oh, what someone Creed said? Creed is definitely Creed. On. Yeah, Creed seems like anything. More like cringe, am I right? <laughs> uh oh. Can you take <laughs> me <laughs> higher? Do a place. It's a good, that's a good one. Worst 90s band name? I think it's great that something from 97, like, that stuck with you that I was into that song that much. <laughs> this long. I remember it, dude. Yeah, you were hell into it. Ooh, lockpick. But I think that at one point, everybody loved that song, and then there was a shift where everybody just made fun of that song. <laughs> the first time I heard it was on one of the, like, Now That's What I Call Music yeah. CDs, uh, and I, like, fucking ooh, loved that song. Ooh, hey. Hey. The science room. I'm gonna do a science. Oh, but Hooba Stank. Oh. Was that 90s though? No. That's 2000. That's early 2000s, but still. I think Hooba Stank was probably making music in the 90s. I don't I mean, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna look it up. Jeff yeah. Jeff used to have this joke, and it was like, Hooba Stank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. There. Found that joke. Um, <laughs> I, need to, I need to find my save room again. Ooh, motherfuckers. Hooba Stank, originally known as Hoobo Stank, is an American rock band formed in 1994. Ooh, wrecked. Um, also, Steven, are you talking about, uh, is it, uh, is it Mark Tremonti? Yeah. The guitarist? Yeah. What's he talking about? Okay. The guitar player for Creed and Alter Bridge. Oh, what about the Sturt? I feel like they were nice. I think, no, I think they were 2000. Ooh, wow. Yeah, but see, here's wow. the thing is that these bands might have formed in the 90s, like Hooba Stink, but they didn't gain traction until the, yeah, the aughts or tens. Yeah, Mark Tremonti is the vocalist, the bassist is Brian Marshall, and the drummer is Scott Phillips, and the guitarist is Scott Stapp. No, guitarist and vocalist Mark Tremonti. Uh, Lead vocalist Scott Stapp. Disturbed, or Sickness came out. In 2000. I'm out and gonna die with the syrup nerves. And 2000 is technically, like, 2000 was basically still the 90s. <laughs> <What about laughs> no, no. But it's not. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Because <laughs> I don't think it, I don't think it was until 9-11 that we were officially out of the 90s. That's when, <laughs> that's, that's when everybody was like, okay, the Marketing 90s. Marketing cultural shift. Yeah, exactly. But they, people were still stuck in the 90s mentally until 9-11. I got, and they were I got, like, I got okay, a really no bad one. one that was, like, big. Mambo number five. A little bit of Jessica. Did we have to do that fucking song? Did like, you guys celebrate, have to do Celebrate America? Celebrate America? America. Where you had to like sing the presidents and sing the the fucking capitals? No. Little I bit of Washington in my life. Yeah, that's what we did. It was like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit of Jessica. That song's canceled. <laughs> Mr. Kavanaugh. That song is? Yeah. Why? It's oh. super sexist. Oh. I don't know if you can use that word. Jive. You speak jive. <laughs> live was a '90s. Is it live or live? <laughs> was it yeah, 90s the answer band? is li the answer. Li is live yes. by night. <laughs> live is a '90s band. Lifehouse. Lifehouse. What was live? Oh, you can't. You can't clarify by just saying it's live because it so looks like it's live. <laughs> oh, hey. 
Peter Hoder, I'm the coach. You've been in this room before. I saw it on the last stream. I'm pretty sure I went, yikes, and then... Yeah, you went, yorp, and then turned around. I was like, oh, nope. Okay, so this is... Uh, let's say Norp for now. I'm falling more in love <laughs> with you. I think I'm about to win. I take a... <laughs> <laughs> the original moves. I need a handle to hold on to. <laughs> What are the original lyrics? I'm doing it. I'm staying here until I push it through. <laughs> they, uh, it's hanging on a moment here with you. <laughs> wow. I, I think we call it. <laughs> I think we call it right there, yeah. yeah. They originally wanted to call the song Dingleberry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. I'm gonna excuse myself, fellas. But they just couldn't pass it. Booty oh. call, uh, duty call. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Hey. Hey. Still on stream? Let <laughs> 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 me step away just the whole conversation. I know. <laughs> if I go crazy, then will Ooh. you still call me Superman? Ooh, Three Doors <laughs> Down is definitely one of those 90s cringe, I like, sing, I, I, used to to I used to do karaoke to it. that song to all of my music students. You never heard this song. It's like older than them. <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Did you hear that uh, Dave Matthews got kicked out of the Dave Matthews band? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's just the band. And, uh, hey, what's up? We're the band. <laughs> what band? We're still Dave Matthews. The no, band. we are the band. <laughs> We're keeping his name. I honestly can't say whether Three Doors Down is cringy or not because I've only heard the one song. Now? Yes, they do. Chris My tonight? parents, oh, like, three doors down. Back. Yeah, but they haven't oh, sold out, yeah. dude. Who, three doors down? Yeah, they sold out hard. Not as bad as, like, Sugar Ray did, but they dude, sold out Sugar Ray. Have you ever listened to, like, what they sounded like before Fly? Oh, yeah. Everywhere I go, statues crumble for me. <laughs> yeah, that's how it was that. Yeah. I just want to fly. Like, <laughs> we had, like, a very <laughs> unintentional <laughs> harmony right there. <laughs> Well, yeah, Kurt's and I was tight, but all the other songs just became, like, them trying to get on the radio. It was all, like, VH1 songs for, for like, older women that love to love, like, oh. You guys remember Josh Groban? No. Yeah. yeah. I know the name. He's, I don't know who it is. He's still a thing. Just make a bunch of Christmas music. So. I mean, that's that's where the racket's at. It is. You make music once a year. Michael Buble. You literally, you literally just pander to the Walmart market. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like oh, that, yeah. that's what they do that's, is yeah. they just pander to the Walmart market. Oh. Okay, let's drop this bad boy. Oh, I told Jeff that we're covering Triangle for him. Or per him, I guess. I didn't know that has a Hemsworth in it. Liam. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It does, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I, start, I started it um, the other day. It's not what I expected. I thought it was going to be like an older, shitty, like, what the fuck is this movie? But yeah, it's got people that I... Don't know their names, but I recognize. You know what I mean? Yeah. Triangle is dope. Yeah, I've that, seen it. Is that Jeff? <laughs> no, it's uh, Steven. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I saw it, but it was years and years ago. So I remember, I remember like the basic plot elements. Yeah. And that it's. Fun. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, and so I'm just like, what the fuck is happening right now? Have you noticed yeah, triangles you, all over the place? <laughs> yeah, lots of things in threes, that kind of thing. I was just joking, because usually you're the one that's like, oh, did you see that triangle? That was. I wonder if that was intentional. Oh, wasn't that you during the host's interview? When you were like, oh, was your guys' You were asking something like, like if something that, was intentional, yeah. and they were like, mm, no. That no. is where we, yeah. Which is the location that they had. Yeah, but some people do shit like that intentionally. <clears throat> true, true, true. Tell me that fucking triangle imagery in Midsommar wasn't it. I mean, I think literally everything in this movie yeah. is intentional. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. So I triangles are very ionic. Triangles are very ionic. I know. Well, upside down triangle. Every time I look, <laughs> every time I look at a triangle, I just want to spun. <laughs> well, because I really hate this <laughs> word. That's a penis job. Well, not if it's like. Huh? That's why in uh, the Da Vinci Code. The Holy Grail is Have we seen underneath the, void? the Louvre. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's uh, Kostansky. 
The guy who did Costanza. George Costanza. <laughs> George Costanza. <laughs> Jason Alexander, we're back! <laughs> <laughs> Three-way high five. Oh, it just slipped right yeah. off, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the void is full of triangles, but that's the same guy who did Psycho Goreman. But oh, but his one like not funny horror movie. Mm. I, I've been thinking about Psycho Goreman a lot because I keep wanting to say like hunky boys. Like oh, that's a hunky oh, boy. Hunky boys. <laughs> My hunky boys. I don't like hunky boys. <laughs> this TV won't stop bleeding. <laughs> Oh, that dude uh, shit himself after he died? Yep, sure did. Sure did, cowboy. Been there, huh? Can whoever's sitting by my deathbed when I die plug, plug me up so that doesn't happen? <laughs> like, yeah, what? but what if like it's a bear? Just what? What if it's like, like a bear like, going into hibernation? Yeah, like, like a, a bunch I, of I, like I say like, I say like, hey, I'm about to say my last words. And so like right before they do that, right. I do that. They, they shove they, some like, sticks up my ass. But what if it turns into some, a cartoon, some, like, of newspaper like uh, a leaky ship water. situation, and then another hole just springs up? <laughs> yeah. What if it starts coming out of your mouth yeah. <laughs> at your funeral? <laughs> yeah, it's an open casket I funeral. I like, <laughs> Slips and sparkles. <laughs> I got the poo on me. Yeah. The priest is just like... Does anybody want that? <laughs> Turns into a real this shit show. This is no ball. This is a shader tank. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this one's the movie. one with the M rings. Just a big hunk of poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a peanut ring. Dang it, boy. Dude, you're on the other side of the helmet door. You got through? Yeah. No. So we have, we've used all of the like doors that require the sword key. So now we need to figure out where all the armor keys and shield keys are. And not get completely and totally shit on during the process. Did you ever go to the dark room? Yeah, we already, we <laughs> I'm like, come on, dog. I gotta be honest with you, dude. As, as hard as I paid attention last time, um, I have not paid attention at all today. It's because this game doesn't really have a plot. It's basically just <clears throat> run around the spooky house until you're done running around the spooky house. Which is fine. I mean, it's cool. Have you figured out what this is all about? No, not yet. Okay. The nice brown table. It's all about the Mickey. Yeah. Can you move, rearrange the pictures? What do you do here? So, I can hit this butt batan, but it could, like, get me... Okay, Steven, can you give me a very brief summary um, as to what the fuck has happened in this game so far, plot-wise? Does he know? He, sa he says, whoa, whoa, Risen Evil has all the plot. That's kind of right. Ken has the... Well, I know, like, the <laughs> series has a plot, but this game is, in particular doesn't seem to have a very, uh... Oh, no, 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 no! Jill did almost get turned into a Jill sandwich. That was a plot development. He says, well, you guys are still in the first act. Yeah, a lot of the plot is Whoa! Like in, the, in the readable content. Like most um, <laughs> Japanese games. Yeah. Steven, will I, will I get my shit pushed in if I, if I click this button? Can you promise it? Disturbed. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Let's not press the button. Wow, what did he say? He said, yes. Those knights will get me. They will bend you over a barrel and show you the 50 knight. states. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gotta do the statues good? <laughs> uh, what? Uh... Excuse me? I don't think Steven speaks English real good. <laughs> and... Yoink! See you later! He's like, there's pizza. Enjoy those footsies, bitch! Life. Um, Jeff says that was a puzzle. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Good yeah. job. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Definitely a puzzle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
dope with the Uzi. Hey, guys. That deer looks pretty horny. <laughs> what? I said that deer looks pretty horny. I love the reindeer. <laughs> Ant the gold antlers, dude. <laughs> Alright. Whatever happened to that movie, Antlers? I don't know. I looked it up like a month ago and it said it was still supposed to be coming out. It looked creepy as fuck, though. Yeah. I want to ask you guys because I feel like if I'm missing something, you guys will get it. Have you guys ever seen Twin Peaks? I yeah. have. I, I'm, it's my Anthony's favorite, favorite show? show? Yeah? Yeah. I watched it and I was like... What? It what? feels... I watched Twin Peaks. Like the entire thing? Like as much of it as I could. Like, How much was that? Probably like a season and a half. Okay. And it felt a jar to me. Maybe felt it's what? I didn't write it all the way through, or I didn't like do any reading. You can't have pizza, Kevin. Lay down. No, I mean honestly, ma'am. I couldn't tell. Like, how it's pretty it was. hit and miss with people. Yeah. Either either it hits you in your sweet spot. Nobody kind of likes Twin Peaks. Well, nobody told me what to appreciate about it either, so I didn't look out for anything. I was just I felt like I was missing something. Are you a David Lynch fan though? <laughs> See, I, I think a lot of people go into Twin Peaks, and if they like it, then they become David Lynch fans, and they like love everything he does, like me. Or they don't. What like else is David Lynch done? Um, he did Blue Velvet, Mulholland Drive, Eraser, Dude. Eraserhead. I don't say Dune. <laughs> 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 he did Eraserhead, Elephant Man. Oh, I don't remember how to do this Dune um, thing. Dune. So a lot of people. It's just a very weird show because it starts out basically as like a soap opera yeah. parody and if you don't like that and I don't like that style either so when I went into it it took me at least half of the first season to like kind of start to understand that the idiosyncratic characters were like the enjoyable part of like the way you're supposed to be enjoying okay. yeah. um, was just how idiosyncratic all the characters are and then toward the end of the first season and into the second season then it starts just getting like supernaturally weird and yeah, that's strange I was picking up on that and I was like then it starts talking about like the, the lodges and all the different stuff, and then if you watch the newest season, well, that, and then there's a time, there's a movie in between yeah. season two and the newest season. Yeah, but that's a, that the movie is a is both a prequel and a partial sequel to the show, so you have to watch it after you've watched the first two seasons. Firewalk with me, and then the new season is completely fucking different from anything. Because it was original on ABC, so it's very toned down. Uh, and then the newest one's on Showtime, so it's like, whatever. So it's way gorier and more sex and all this crazy stuff. And that's, yeah. yeah, like Netflix knew that I watched X-Files, and they're like, because you watched X-Files, mm -hmm. you might like Twin Peaks was a huge inspiration for X-Files and David Duchovny in both. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love his character in Twin Peaks. Me too. Yeah. Um, it's weird. But... We've had this conversation before, Stephen. Yeah, I, I think that that specifically Anthony should play Deadly Premonition on the stream. Cool. What's Deadly Premonition? Deadly Premonition is basically Twin Peaks the game. Oh shit! What Twin Peaks? <laughs> what the fuck is the internet? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, for, it took me probably four separate tries of watching like the most of the first season to finally get hooked on it. Did you make a Dave Matthews band joke? Jeff's upset. <laughs> you mean the band? <laughs> <laughs> Researchers will. A letter is slipped inside. What the top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I've entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. It's just me and you now. Mm-hmm. They should be back, but I need to figure out what, what to do here. Because we've got a, a, a real live bee. Bee specimen. I'm guessing that that bee needs to stay right there. And I, I need to take like this one. Give this one a little takey take. The room is closed, right? Um, I don't know if I should press the switch. I'm gonna say no switch press. And then I'm gonna, gonna take the Jones it. Yep. And I'm going to use 
use the B lure. Specimens of the specimens and the lures of the lures. That's the plan. Now switch. <sighs> nothing happens. Oh, okay. That's a relief. It's a relief that nothing happens in this game. Oh. And there's this one. Ah, uh, okay, 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 now ladies. Yeah. <laughs> What's cooler than being cold? Ice cold. Okay, so, now I gotta put these two guys together. Now I should be able to clicky the button. Click in the button. No, Slap I don't want to the base. click this, this specimen. We doing science. We science it. Press the soundtrack in there. The bot. Hey, give me that thing. Oh, that's not good. That's always a bad, never a good. What is that? Always a bad, it's still alive? never a good. Always a bad, never a good. Shoot it. I don't understand this game. Things just come back to life. That's what the two yeah. boxes is. <laughs> Ooh, we we crested, and we crested, we crested, we crest. When I crest, you crest, we crest. Yeah. <laughs> I put my hand up on your crest. <laughs> 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 okay, so we gotta take. Okay, 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 okay. 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 <laughs> I gotta head back to the back to the main territory. Yep, to give it the old, the old Indiana Jones switcheroo. switcheroo. Um, I learned today PSA for anybody who's on antidepressants. Oh. Um, watch out. Uh, make sure you're drinking lots of water and staying out of the sun because apparently they uh, contribute to dehydration. So if you're on antidepressants, make sure. Yeah. It's good enough. Make sure you're drinking water and. Uh, I'm not personally, but I think that's good to. Yeah, I thought information to have. Do yeah. a mental health PSA to all of our people, all of our depressed folks out there, or not depressed if you're on the right medication, <laughs> which you can get at BetterHelp. <laughs> not this week. <laughs> Say, hit him with a hit him with a Pretty Little Liars. Uh, You gotta, you gotta miss. You gotta miss to the left or the right. There you go. Pills are good. Pills are good. Oh, that took a dark turn a little. A little bit. Um, Stephen says, "Yeah, my mom was actually in the hospital due to dehydration complications because of her medication." Yeah, man. It's, oh, see. It's scary. People, I don't think people realize that it's a thing. I just don't think that most human beings drink enough water. No. So. It's supposed to be half, whatever half your body weight is, and that ounces. into ounces. Too much. Yoink! Enjoy those footsies, so bitch. See you ounces of later. Water today. What? I'm bigger on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a TARDIS. <laughs> That's hella <laughs> rude, John. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you're hella a TARDIS. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> <laughs> We've been dodging cancellations left and right. <laughs> Steven says, I made that Pilsner good joke to her when I got there. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a shitty son, too. Yeah. Well, welcome to the club. Good on Except you, man. <laughs> are you a, a Steven, are you more of a Harry or a Lloyd? Or are you in the same boat as Chuck and don't really like Dumb and Dumber? I think if he made that joke to his mom at the hospital, <laughs> he's probably a Dumb and Dumber fan. <laughs> oh, let's not give it my gun or my lockpick. Give me back to the crest. And my axe. <laughs> oh, what? 
You thought you had something, but you don't? I sure did think I had something. Check the sides and shit. Oh, hell yeah. He says he's a Lloyd, and he loves the movie. Ooh, it's cracking. Is that the coin you found inside the necklace? Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> Our pet's heads are falling off! Hey, yo, S Steven, why can't I put this on here? It's the wrong you are shape. One pathetic loops. <laughs> so I It is the wrong shape, so we good. We out here being good. Wait. Yeah, it's the wrong shape. So yeah, I mean, I could probably you know. quote that movie almost every We need a hexagon. Gas man. How'd they know I got gas? <laughs> uh, he says those are different crests. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't remember that from Dumb Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> crests. Oh, it's a booty. Dark, ominous tones. Is that your nickname? <laughs> yeah, Dark, Ominous Tone. <laughs> <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. Which is better, Ace Ventura or Dumb and Dumber? I don't even think that's a question. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber. I, yeah, I mean, for me, definitely Dumb and Dumber. But Ace Ventura is fantastic. <laughs> I'm trying to think of which I would consider, like, a better, objectively a better movie. Dumb and Dumber has a pretty good plot. Ace Ventura has a pretty good plot. He's trying to figure out who this is the Yeah, yeah that's true. Fantastic. And he has but, to, like, hunt down the, the championship. But Dumb and Dumber yeah. isn't, like, retroactively yeah. transphobic. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Whoa! Spoilers, bro! <laughs> yeah, so I guess, um, at least between the three of us, Dumb and Dumber is going to be our choice. Uh, yeah, I think most people try to forget about the, uh, the transphobia in Ace Ventura. Also, uh, I will say, though, that as, like, by defensive looking at the two as franchises, Ace Ventura is probably better than whatever yeah, happened that guy with survived the, the other two Dumb and Dumber movie? movies. Yeah, that's true. Because I would watch God. both okay. aces. But then throw I would watch the other Dumb and Dumbers. I died. Yeah. But that then sucks. When was the last time you saved? Been a minute? Throw the mask in there, bro. And son of mask? No, no just the mask. mask. I think I have to go back and redo the B room. I, yeah, no, I, was a, I was huge into Jim Carrey. I was obsessed. Liar Liar was my shit, too, and I didn't even understand half the jokes. <laughs> Jennifer Tilly's in that. She is in that. So while we're dead, so in I'm your bra. Take a small break. <laughs> so you guys can entertain chat for a minute. Yes, there is an Ace Ventura Jr. and um. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, with the his the, his son. And a cartoon, right? Mm -hmm. They made cartoons. You know what's really strange? They is made a Dumb and Dumber cartoon too. How many very adult? movies were made into like children's cartoon versions. Because Jim Carrey is just funny. Yeah. But it was everything. It was everything. Like I um, like Robocop. Robocop had like what? a cartoon. And that's a very hardcore sure. R-rated movie. Bye. Bye Thanks Ray. for coming. Bye. Beetlejuice. Alright chat. Now that uh, yeah Beetlejuice. That is what uh, Steven just said. Oh yeah. Um, I used to fucking love that cartoon though. Now that Randy's gone, um, how do we feel about that guy? <laughs> good. Feel good. I mean, you're the one who kicked him off the show. No, okay. <laughs> that, that is not what happened. Story time. Huh? It was story time. Story time? Yeah. yeah. No. Tell us the story of how you how you uh, you fought Randy. <laughs> yeah, he said. You know, one, only one of us can be the peak master. <laughs> I said, I don't know what that means, bro. And you were like, and you said, no, three must control the power. Yeah, I, don't, I have never told the story before. No, I, I know the oh, real okay, story. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I thought yeah. you were going to, like, spitball, like, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, would I lie to you style. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Randy was like, let's start a show. And I was like, yeah, but it's got to be horror and sci-fi. Okay, I'm not just going to do a sci-fi show with you, you little fucking weirdo. You weirdo. little fucking nerd. Yeah. Uh, and Randy, being the little scrawny guy that he is, had to, <laughs> had to bow out to Big Tone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Big, give me that show. Um, and that's basically how it happened, yeah. 
Yeah. It, you it it you found out that the variant versions from another reality were coming to try to take <laughs> over Porcelain Peak, and his variant version killed him, and now that Randy we just saw is not the original. Hard to keep track, bro. He knew too much. That was Brandy. <laughs> Brandy. <laughs> Be Randy. <laughs> Brandy, Crandy, Drandy. <laughs> you do be kind of Randy, though. I don't know. <laughs> you do be Randy. He's going home <laughs> going home to spun. <laughs> Alright, guys, all that porn up duck. I gotta get out of here. What was that site you were talking about? Bel- Belassi? <laughs> Belessa? Belessa? It's classy, bro. Okay. Okay. Classy. Okay. If you're going to be a weirdo to watch two other people fuck, it's the classy way to do it. <laughs> you keep Who thinking out the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out. Did I, jerk, I jerk off hella fancy. <laughs> do you want to play? Stalefish reverse. Oh, dude, I'm stale fish all day, fancy. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is gonna be like, no thanks. Well, what do we? What's that? He says, keep it classy, bro. All way. Yeah. I don't want to fuck something up by accident. Is this what I'm supposed to be loading? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dude. Yeah, he just saved. I'm just loading the save. How old was that? I don't know. Oh. Told you so. Oh, we're pretty far back. Why? Why? Because we haven't saved in a while. So we're going to have to go back and redo the whole... Uh, well, all I did was go, and it said load no, game. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. You're good. No, it's a uh, friggin' survival. Don't be crazy. Right? What are you... <laughs> Why are you Sir, so... calm down. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Hey. <laughs> Damn. It's okay, big guy. What'd you say? No. Uh, sun, sun's going down. Yeah, sun's going down. Yeah. Sun's going down. Yeah. <laughs> Undisclosed kid today in this undisclosed location. (laughs) I was like, oh, I've been learning how to play piano, and I was like, oh yeah, can I see it? I don't think I lost four hours of progress, but I, it's not great. Uh, And he went to his keyboard and started playing, and I was like, what is that? He's like, it's Phantom of the Opera. (laughs) That's my favorite musical or whatever. And I was like, what the fuck is up, dude? Was that the Shining Kid? Yeah. (laughs) So emblems were good. Boom, boom, boom. We saw the grenade launcher. Rocket launcher. So I think the only thing that I did was the was the the lure room, I think, right? The bug room. I don't know when you saved last. Need somebody help. I was at a shift the other day and they're having like a Disney week and she was quizzing the kids on like Disney characters and she showed this one and uh, she's like, Who is this? This little girl raised her hand. She goes, Um, hot dog? That one does look like a hot dog. <laughs> oh, I was dying. She's like, No, but you get a piece of candy for that. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. That one's a helmet door. I mean, oh. Come on, John, you got ten minutes to uh, get back to where you were.
So would you say, Chad, that we've made <clears throat> literally any progress since the last stream? Yeah, we have a grenade launcher. And more keys than we had previously. More keys. Turn it into a regular old janitor up in here. Ooh, it's up. Yeah. Was this game pretty like innovative when it came out? Because you could do a lot, like all these storage, get, like inventory, and then the other storage box, and having to examine so certain parts. Yes. It's like, were people like, "What the fuck? You can do all this?" Yeah, it was like the the first of its uh, ilk. Yeah. That's cool. Ooh, yeah, we... So there's a bunch of stuff we haven't, we haven't done now, but let's do all those things real quick. How'd you die? I missed it. Um, I went through the hallway that had all the zombies in it. It's pretty, uh... Pretty bad idea. It's a pretty bad decision you made. There's an ink ribbon here. Is I can there an ink ribbon? That. Yeah, I can come back to that later. Because we have seven. So we're Steven says, oh yeah, this essentially <clears throat> created the survival horror genre. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but more than just that, like, were other games doing this style of... Like the controls and stuff? Well, like the inventory and having to examine items and that kind of, like, the more, like, puzzly, like, exploration of even little details. Like, you could do this game without all the details and, like, oh, you found a key and it just works. But with this, you have to, like, examine even the stuff that you found. You know what I mean? Like, if you find shit in Zelda, it's not like, do you want to look at it? It's just like, is what it is. Yeah. So it's like a lot. I mean, there's a lot to this. And all the, all the journal entries and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to drop off the box. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's I'd complicated. Have to look into it. You know? Yeah. Oh, the blue gemstone. We walked by the tiger. We'll need that eventually. Does it go on his eye? Yeah. I mean, we had another gemstone to go. Romero actually wrote a script for the Resident Evil movie. Yeah, we talked about it on the show. Because originally he said he didn't want to do it because he didn't. He said he didn't want to do zombies again, and he didn't want to do zombies that were somebody no. else's zombies. But the Resident Evil people said that they were super heavily inspired by Romero. Mm -hmm. So then he was like, okay, I'll do it. And then he wrote the script, and they were like, yeah, no. Well, I think they already had somebody, right? They wanted to go in Paul W.S. Anderson's direction for some reason. Yeah, point and click adventures and stuff. Yeah, they definitely had like the like the examine the inventory type shit for mm -hmm. sure. Things yeah. like the Monkey Island games and uh, all the other basically like the the Lucas Arts games. When did the Tomb Raider come out? Tomb Raider came out around the same time that the original of this, not the remake, came out. Maybe a little earlier. And is that a lot more puzzles? Um, there were some puzzles, but I mean, it most of it was just shoot like clunky controls that barely worked, which is we're doing pyramid that. tits. And what pyramid, pyramid tits? tits. Like boots. polygonal because she was made of polygons. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking pyramids with like <laughs> big Madonna. Mm. I got yes, it. it is definitely a very cleaned up version of this game. I feel like this game would have been so fucking impossible to play in its original version then. It definitely does not look anywhere near as nice. Camille. Hey, buddy. Sun's getting real low. See ya. Oh. Ooh. Hey, bro. He got me. He got, got me. Got me. Got <laughs> me. Not, dude. He got me. And I wasted my defensive dagger. I'm going to do a left cheek sneak real quick. There we go. What? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't shame me while I, while I, do. while I fart on you. No, I did. Oh, I did a right cheek sneak. Which is actually something I got from the X Files. There you go. That's a decubby. Oh, he's just gonna do a cheek sneak. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It could have been Californication. Either way, this is a decubby. It's a decubby thing. Oh, missed. Huh? It was good. It was uh, David Duchovny playing David Duchovny. <laughs> yeah. Californication. 
Want to get the bug root done? Get that that uh, that wind emblem save, and then we'll probably call her a night. Well, let's go for like two more hours. Please no. Please God no. This is the most human action interaction I've had all week. So it's been pretty nice. <laughs> Huh? No, I'll spend the night in. I'll sleep in between you and Brittany. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I have to put it in the bed. I'm not a monster. <laughs> Hot dog? Hot dog. <laughs> Kev will join you. <laughs> You're probably going to like it. Oh, weirdo. I tried to get both of my dogs to sleep in the bed last night, and they did not want to. They did not. Ziggy stayed for a little bit and then dipped. Quentin stayed all night. <laughs> it's pretty tight. Um, Kevin likes to take up the entire middle of the bed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, but since Amanda's been gone, I made a, a pillow girlfriend. <laughs> Did you draw an anime chick on it? <laughs> With an I put her face. pillow that she sleeps on down, <laughs> and then I put two little pillows, and then I put a bigger pillow sideways. She's got that rump. And then I put another pillow at the bottom. She knows. I told her. I said, Here, I said, here's your, my pillow girlfriend while you're gone. So it really like emulates uh, what you're working with. And then, um, How does she feel about that? Uh, yeah. She's not coming back. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's when you got to the point where you told her that you cut a hole in one of the pillows and she was like, yeah, okay, I'm not coming home. It's funny. I accused him of the same thing. Oh, Did you? A fucking being a pillow fucker? Okay. Boom! <laughs> This you make the same mistake twice, John. Oh, Wrong. Man. This is a different hallway. Oh, go, 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 go! Oh, yeah. What's behind door number two? Oh, my cat loves to do that, though. Like, get on the bed and then get right in the middle of the bed. Who? My cat. Mm. Okay. And then I have to, like, lay diagonally on one side or the other of him. Diagonally. Diagonally. <laughs> How did it? Do? Yeah, but okay, here's the thing about that part that irritates me is that Diagonally is not the name of the place that he fucking goes to. Yeah, he goes to Nocturne, which makes no sense. Yeah. Kind of had a reason for it. It's a reason for the season. You know season? Yeah, let's, uh, let's put the rest of, uh, we spend the rest of the stream talking about Harry Potter uh, plot holes. Hey, Harry plot holes? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. No. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> where is this room? Let's talk about plot holes. What's some big ones? Not Harry Potter. S strictly. Um, there's the Toy Story one, obviously. Why does Buzz freeze if he doesn't think he's a toy? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's like toy instinct. <laughs> like, it's built into them naturally. Like a deer. Like, a deer doesn't, like, I, I'm sure, like, a baby deer probably would do the same thing. Like, freeze if it's off person. But he thinks he's a person. Would a deer freeze if they saw another deer? What about a, a doe? Sure. Like a deer? Female, female deer? deer? Yeah. No. No. What are some other big ones? Uh, Back to the Future. Mm hmm What? Um, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> time travel doesn't count. Every time travel movie, you have to fuck it. Just go with it. Gotta fudge it. Mm -hmm. Not plot hole, but it's funny that the entire plot of Terminator kind of hinges on him using a phone book at one point. Because he's looking for Sarah Cotta. Yeah. And instead of being... So what if she was unlisted? <clears throat> yeah, and he's like an advanced futuristic form of technology that can't 
somehow track or find the right Sarah Connor. He has to open up a phone book and <laughs> thumb through it. <laughs> but how else would he find it? Because you don't have the internet. Like, what would he eat? Like, that's a smart move for going back in the past using the best technology they had. I don't know, right? Because what else would you use in the 80s? Why don't they just send him back to exactly where she lives? I don't think they can control it, right? Isn't it just the same spot where the machine is in the future? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Steven, go ahead and clarify all the Terminator details for us. We don't award Todd Browning points on the stream, though. He's like, well, then why would I eat the fuck? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought he said something. Oh! Oh, dude, you fucking got him. I don't think anybody needs to know Terminator past T2. I looked up, like, big plot holes. The uh, Back to the Future came up. He goes Work back on. to save the parent relationship and ensuring he continu continues to exist in the future. But how come Marty's parents don't remember him? Surely Marty's mom and dad would have eventually twigged and come to recognize him as the man who put them up in the first place. Apparently not. They also don't... There's something about, like, naming him naming him Marty, but he's not their first kid or something like that? Something mm. like that. He goes back in time, fixes their relationship, which is why they named him Marty. But in the original timeline, he didn't do that, so why so would they name him Marty? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. It works for our job? I do, yeah. But you're right. Time travel movies are just a mess, so. Yeah. Do you want to go with me tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Feel free to say no. What time are you in? Uh, so it takes about an hour and a half. So. Yeah, there probably won't be a lot of traffic. Probably like 6.30, right? To get there around 8.00. That's gross. Yeah, and she'll be trying to go for everything too. Yeah. Awesome, be by. No pressure. Okay. Just don't tell me yeah and then change your mind. <laughs> How about you just uh, use that grenade launcher to blow a hole in the wall and skedaddle? <laughs> yeah, just like, see ya. Okay, boom, bye -bye. boom, 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 and then keep going. Peace, bitches. What happened? Says well, strap in for triangle. Who said? Jeff. Oh. All right. I don't think strap, we're gonna make it to this strap other. In, strap, strap on. on. <laughs> yep. I don't think we're gonna make it back to the back to the bug room. So we'll have to pick that up when we come back to the stream. We well, wrapping it? Yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it. We've been going for about two and a half hours. And yep. you gotta get up early in the morning. That was a pretty good stream. Thank you guys so fucking much for being here. Um, all of you who are here, come back next time. It may be next Friday. It may be next some other time. But it's gonna happen again. Yeah. Um, I, I th I'm off Friday, so I think that Friday will we'll pro we'll probably go a little earlier. We'll let you know. Let's but yeah, we'll get we'll we'll give you a, a good heads up. Um, but I'm off the next couple of Fridays, so hopefully we can make this uh, a regular thing for a little bit. Um, and then other than that, uh, we'll see you next time. Catch yeah, thanks for tuning in. Drink mud water and uh, check out our new episode on Monday. Yeah. He's been Tone. He's been John. I've been Internet Darling Anthony. Keep right. it creepy. Keep it creepy. Have a good night. Bye.